Yeah. The first guy on the stage is a bright new face of comedy. He comes all the way from Hartford, Connecticut. Please welcome Mike Jacobs. Let's hear it for him. My luck, I get to follow a guy who's just gotten over the flu. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm a little pissed off tonight. And uh, this has really bugged me for a couple of days. And I thought I'd share it with you. I was in an Italian restaurant the other day, and this huge Mediterranean handsome guy named Valentino comes and he seats me at my table. Shortly after that, Giovanni brings me a wine list. And then Marcello brings me Thermosu. And at that point, at that very point, I realized we Jews got fucked out of sexy names. <laughs> we don't have, we don't have, there is nothing, there is nothing sexy about Irwin. <laughs> Sherwin, Marvin, Merwin, Naomi, Moichi, Herman, or Heshi. There's nothing sexy about her. On top of which, you've got to say them in the right arena. You gotta close one eye. You can't just say Herman. You gotta close one eye. You gotta lean over. Hi, man. Hi, man. Heshi. Let me ask you a question. In all honesty, would you rather the single women get fixed up with Valentino or Heshi? I'm gonna tell you right now. Heshi is gonna give you a better date. If you can overlook the five foot one, hundred and ninety pound bald headed guy, he is going to take you and his mom out for the most unbelievable dinner in the world. You know, I have to tell you, recently married for the second time, I usually get a clap there. I was single for 12 years by choice, uh, not mine. And, uh, in that time, I saw hundreds of women, hundreds of women on the internet. And I finally, though, met a woman, got married, and wouldn't you know, after being single 12 years, I marry a woman named Candy. A fucking snack food after 12 years. When I told my parents, my father said, why didn't you marry a girl named Gingivitis, for God's sake? I said, Dad, it could have been worse. I could have married a 300 pound friend, Frito. <laughs> Is there a Frito here? I hope not. I told Candy there is no biblical precedent at all for the name Candy. It does not exist. It's basically the male, ver it's the woman's version of the male bow tie. You do not take somebody serious with the name Candy. It's not in the Bible. Let me ask you a question. You gonna go run to the movies to see a remake of Russell Crowe and Samson and Candy? No. Think about Christmas, Jesus, Joseph, and Candy. It does not fly. Anyway, Candy and I went to a bar mitzvah a couple weeks ago. My roommate from college, Elliot, was bar mitzvah the son, Jeremy. And I noticed at the end that when we held up a glass of wine to say L'chaim, Candy, who is not Jewish, <laughs> said L'chaim. L'chaim. So I set off on a mission to teach her how to say L'chaim. And I'd like to share that with you here. You need a couple props. You need a cap, glass of warm milk, and a tongue depressor. <laughs> Take the cat by its tail and lick it everywhere. Lick it everywhere. It is pretty gross. Though. It's the only way you're going to do it. Take the warm milk. Drink it. Swallow it. Take your finger and or your tongue depressor and stick it down your throat. The noise you make right before you puke. Hey, you guys have been terrific. Thank you very much. Thank you.